Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So today I wanted to have a discussion about some reasons why Ruby Volume 7 should be delayed, and I really wanted to go into this because this is a serious matter, and I really want to go into the reasons why Ruby Volume 7 should be delayed for a little bit. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say if anybody has any questions for the Q&A, let me know because the Q&A is going to be coming up this weekend because at the end of every month, I will have a Q&A. You can ask me whatever question you'd like. So whatever question you have for me, I will be willing to answer to the best of my abilities. So if you want to ask me anything about myself, anything about Ruby, anything about anime of any other kind, anything about anything, well then ask me to your heart's content and I will answer them. So I will leave a link in the description where you can leave your questions. So it'll be on my 1000 subscriber Q&A. So if you want to leave the question there, then I will check it and I will go over all of them. So get your questions out as soon as you can before Saturday. So sit back, relax. I hope you all enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So, as crazy as this may sound, I actually do believe that Ruby Volume 7 should be delayed. Now, there are several reasons I'm going to go into as to why I believe that Volume 7 should be delayed. But first, I want to look at it like this. So, sometimes some series do get delayed for certain reasons. Whether it be that the team hasn't had time to work on it. Or whether that there needs to be patches or things that the team needs to do when it comes to working on the series that they're trying to make. But at the same time, when it comes to being delayed on certain series, sometimes that can be a good thing. Now, while it is a double-edged sword, the hype can be kind of brought down sometimes due to having to wait so long. At the same time, this can actually help a series if it gets delayed due to certain issues that may be going on, and it can actually bring some positive things that wouldn't have been able to be done if it had not been delayed. And besides, looking at Rooster Teeth and its most recent issue that it's been doing with its animators and the company and their poor management, during the time that they are not working on Ruby, here's what needs to happen so that this could actually be good. So by delaying Ruby, this could help Rooster Teeth actually start to restructure their company. They could actually get more experienced people within certain areas when it comes to management that could actually be working in the areas they need to be working in, like I said management people that actually have the experience not only that but they need to treat their animators better their animators if it wasn't for them their series would not be coming to life their animators deserve respect for what they do and they most certainly deserve to have more freedoms not only this but Rooster Teeth needs to work on the issues between the departments with the animators and they need to try to help them be more of a team rather than trying to compete in a rivalry against each other I mean it's supposed to be about teamwork in the first place and if they could just work better as teams, then a lot of things would go a lot more smoothly and a lot better. And this is something that Rooster Teeth needs to work on. They also need to work on their management. They need to fire the people that are not experienced in certain areas, or they need to put them in the areas that they are experienced in, if they are experienced in other areas for the company. They need to put them there, rather than areas that they are not experienced in. And this is something that they really need to work on. I mean, this is an issue. This has been going on for years, and this needs to stop. And during the time that Ruby could be delayed, they could work on this to help out with the animators, to help out with their management, to help out in multiple different ways, and to try to put the departments together as a team rather than have them fight with each other because apparently the clicks from what the reviews were saying that they are worse than high school. That is never a good sign. But... The next thing that they do need to work on is by delaying Ruby. This would help the animators bring up their passion and their morale, and they need to be paid for their work, not just a third of Ruby needs to go without being paid, or a third of Genlock, or any other series that they're working on with the animators. No, the animators need to be paid for everything that they work on. And it's been unjust with the way they've been treated, and they need to work on that. But... If a delay happens, this for one can help them work on the crunch time that a lot of the animators have been having an issue with, which the company itself has been having an issue with considering that they continue to make the crunch time happen and seeing that they could avoid it 
what this could do is this could help the animators be able to animate and hopefully they will be given the freedom to animate the way they should and that needs to happen also they need to have the respect they deserve and not only that but at the same time this could allow the animators to have their own time to go home to be able to relax a little bit more have more time to themselves have more time with their families and if they feel like they need to get help during that time then they can go find the help they need if they feel that they need it during that time and that would be excellent for them but not only that the thing is passion drive and morale considering they've been talking about how their passion and their morale has dropped due to what's been going on over the years the thing is is that without that passion without that drive then the work's going to suffer and that's certainly something that doesn't need to happen not only that but the animators need to have more freedom to animate and this could allow them to come up with their own creative ideas during the fights and things of that sort not only this but if you think about it during this time they could also get the character styles closer to what they once were and if the animators could have their own freedoms to animate, then they could add their own creative flair to each character's unique fighting styles and add more to that and make the fighting more anime-like like it used to be. And I think that that would be a very excellent thing for them to be able to do. And with them adding their own creative flair, you can see some interesting things from each animator and you will know distinctly which animator did what. It would be really good that way. It'd be better than... When there was a cinematic change that wanted to be made, and that was actually not the animators that wanted that cinematic change. <sighs> no matter what, I can't ever escape bringing up the Battle of Haven, can I? Oh boy. Well, it showed you how well cinematic changes really went for Ruby. Yeah. Battle of Haven. Worst battle in Ruby history, 100%. But, Volume 6 did make some changes, and I'm going to throw them out there right now, because... These were good changes. When we did get to see Neo and Cinder fight, this was an excellent fight because it felt like Neo's style had returned. We got to see more of Cinder's close hand-to-hand -hand combat, and she was very good at it before, and we got to see more of this again, which was excellent. And like I said, Neo's style was captured brilliantly. It was beautiful. It took four animators to do that, by the way, mind you, and my respect goes out to them. And while I may not have liked how Adam was treated, even though I'm not personally an Adam fan, I did like this fight. Now, some of this was Monty's old animation brought back into this, of course, but think of it is, for what this was, this fight itself, just the fight, I'm not talking about the plot, I'm just talking about the fight here, it was done very well. And it felt very good to see this fight play out. And the animators did a very good job in this fight when it comes to Adam, Blake, and Yang fighting each other. This was very good. And let's hope that the animators can continue to do well. And let's hope that if they can get a break, just a little bit of time during a delay, if they decide to delay Ruby, hopefully they can continue to keep up this great animation that they actually did here. So praise goes out to the animators. But there's one more thing I want to bring up that a delay can actually do that could be really good. And here's what it can be. So one thing that Ruby has had an issue with, and it's a big one, is inconsistencies, retcons, and just issues with the storytelling. And one big thing about that is, is that they could have more time to work on the story. And let's be real. Volume 7 is going to be the ending to Weiss's character arc. That is going to be a very serious thing there that they're going to need to work on because out of Team Ruby, Weiss is best girl. And the thing about it is, let's hope that Weiss gets a great story out of this. Let's hope that the inconsistencies start to die down. Let's hope that there are no more retcons. Let's hope that they really work on good storytelling this time. And with more time off and with more time because of a delay this would allow the writers to go back to look at things to try to remember things they may have forgotten and to put them into the story here and it would help in many different ways when it comes to the characters personalities it would help when it comes to characters motivations and it would help when it comes to conflicts between other characters 
and maybe even their abilities that the writers have forgotten that they have. And while we've seen some good storytelling, some of Volume 6 did have some good storytelling, at the same time, there have been some issues with certain parts of Volume 6. I think the final act felt very rushed. I don't think it was the best, and I think that it certainly could have been improved upon. And they don't need to rush things, because then that just goes for a bad story. And so if they can just take their time, and if they can think things out, then the storytelling can go better. And a lot of things can feel better. It could actually feel like a more cohesive story. Things could be more consistent. And the planning going forward could be much more thought out and much better. It could be much more well done. And... That's a good thing about not rushing things and taking your time with it rather than trying to rush things and then things don't feel as good. And this could also maybe dedicate them to making longer length episodes and that would be good too. Because I think that for Volume 7 there's going to be a lot that they're going to have to tell and go into details of and they're probably going to have to have longer episodes. So delaying Ruby Volume 7 I think overall would be good. It could help so many different things that I brought up, and I think overall it would do a lot better for Ruby in general if they were to just take their time rather than try to rush things. But anyways, let me know what you think down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, share this video with your friends if you found this informative or useful, and follow me on Discord. Link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today, and remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.